Hello, welcome to another inking room tutorial. This time I'm just going to be doing a quick demo on inking hair texture with a brush. Now this technique can be used for creating highlights and shadows in any hair type, but it's really effective in curvy and wavy hair like we see in Whitney's character in Peter and Company. Now this is a good example of the finished product from an earlier tutorial that I had done on camera. Um, it was based on an actual photo of Whitney who the character is based on. Now the one I'm going to be doing for this recording is also based on a photo of her from when we went to the Renaissance Fair a few years back. So uh, yeah. Let's get started. Now there are three steps to the process here. First is the easiest and most obvious, just inking in the line art. Just put in the general contours of the hair and simply work your way around the image. Also, while you're putting in the lines, try to visualize where on the hair, the shadows and the highlights are going to go. This is actually going to be very helpful later. Step two can be a little intimidating. You're going to start putting in spot blacks in thick strokes for where the shadows will be darkest on the hair try to break up the area so that it doesn't look like straight bands of shadow. The more jagged the line, the more natural the hair will look in step three. Also, this is, uh, this is what you'd call the the what the hell am I doing phase of the process, where it, it can look like you're just making a mess of your drawing. So don't let that get to you. Don't freak out. Just keep pushing forward and remember that when you put in the last details, it's going to look really good. So just keep on working and don't be intimidated. third and final step is also the most time consuming and that is to add in the texture. Now you're going to want to use a drier brush for this. Try to get off as much of the ink as you can so that you can feather the lines more easily. Choose a side to start from and keeping your hand moving in one direction follow the curves of the hair to extend the shadow and shape the highlight. This is going to take some practice and some patience to get through but it's worth it. One useful trick is to rotate the paper while you work. I have an easier time maintaining a consistent line when my hand moves upwards or away from me, so I often try to keep the page in that position if I can. Now the key here is to visualize in your head before you put the lines down the direction of the hair and the shape of the curve. Now place your brush to the page in the spot black and brush outwards towards the highlight away from the shadow. Never start in the highlight or you'll get too thick of a line. Try to keep the curves opposite of each other to give the hair more volume. And also, just like in step two, try not to keep the strokes too uniform. Mixing them up in length and direction will make it look more natural. Also try to use this technique to establish the direction of your light source. The brighter the highlight, the tighter and smaller your strokes should become. The 
final touch is to add in some smaller stray hairs kind of randomly placed around the drawing just to add in an extra bit of detail and keep the hair from looking like a piece of fabric. And there you have it! Inked curly hair with shadows and highlights. Now again, you can use this for any hair type if you use longer strokes. So experiment with it on your own and see if you can incorporate this technique into your own work. So now I'm going to be finishing this piece in watercolor and ink wash. Uh, I actually drew this on watercolor paper in anticipation of it. Um, but I'm going to be working on that on a live stream session. So I'm going to be uploading that footage to the channel after it's done so you guys can see what the final part turns out looking like. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you guys on the next inking room. If you have any questions about this technique, or would just like to request a topic for an upcoming video, feel free to post it in the comments. Also be sure to follow this channel for more tutorials, inking room livestreams, and updates on the Peter and Company animated series.